I'm gonna not not like that. But, um, I'm gonna pass over to uh, the champion Tevin Farmer to say a few words, and then we'll go to you guys for questions. Tevin, I ain't really got too much to say. I just want to thank all the media for um, coming out and supporting this fight. You know, y'all could have been at the other spot, you know, but y'all was here with us tonight. So thank y'all. Guys, questions for Tevin? Yeah. So I got a question for you. Uh, this is Hyman with All Access and Lee Boxing. Um, you know, you fought a tough, gritty fighter tonight. Uh, were you surprised uh, with anything as far as, uh, you know, his relentlessness and his coming forward? No, um, I, somebody asked me a question earlier. I feel like at this level, no, don't nothing surprise me at the level. I feel like that's what they're supposed to do. At a world championship level, anybody coming into the ring and fighting for a world title is supposed to be that way. So I didn't expect nothing less than what he brought tonight. Uh, follow-up question is, how would you assess your performance tonight? I mean, I'm never going, I, I'm never going to be sad about my performance. I, I ask my trainers and they, they dictate that. Um, I can have the best performance of my life, and I'm going to still think that it's not the best performance. So, um, you can ask them. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want JoJo Diaz? I was there in Las Vegas when you walked up on him. Yeah. And all that. Is that what next for Tevin Fall? Um, I want a unification, for real, for real, to be honest. Um, I don't care what champion it is. But if I can't get that, I definitely want JoJo Diaz. I feel like he the next... Um, He's the next big dog under the guys with the belts, and I want to fight the best. And it's hard to get them guys in the ring with me, so I definitely take um, JoJo if I can't get an unification fight. What's your beef with JoJo? Um, it ain't no beef, you know. People who think they can beat me, so they gotta they gotta holler at me. Um, they talk trash on social media when I see them in person. I, w I run down on them and see what see what the beef is about. But it ain't really no beef, you know. It's a it's a, it's a competitive sport. We all young and hungry, and we just want to see who the best. Uh, Tevin, so you got Tevin Farmer, Stephen Fulton, uh, J Rock, Julian Williams. T yeah. Talk to me about this resurgence of Philly boxing. Oh, yeah, boxing I'm, 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 I'm proud of my city. Um, everybody, a lot of people doubt Philly, you know. Everybody know we have a lot of great fighters there, but a lot of fighters from Philly don't get to become um, champion of the world. So um, I'm proud of the guys we got. We got three of them. You know, J Rock hold about, what, three belts? And, um, Salute to them, man. We doing our thing, and hopefully we can get more in the future. Yes, in the back. There's a fight with uh, Hank Davis possible. I know he fought tonight. He also won. He also had a fight with Joshua and Ruiz. There's a possible with Franco and there was Hank fight. Yeah, we've made, I think, three offers now. So... He's heard of that. Yeah, well, I don't think he even got to hear about him, to be honest with you. Um, but if he did, I think he would have been very excited. And these but are legitimate offers that you guys put on the table. No, they're just, just pretend ones I made up. <laughs> <laughs> and it never got to him. It never got to him. I, I feel like I feel like maybe I feel like maybe Davis really wants to fight, but you know sometimes they say um, in boxing you got to protect the fighter from themselves. You know we tough and we we won't quit. So I feel like that's that's part of the case in his um, in his case. He might want to fight, but his handlers know that he's not ready for it, and they're not gonna make it happen until they think that. Um, maybe I get old or something, but I'm still young. I'm young as hell. I started boxing at 19, and I'm not really taking punishment. So, so why are you that guy to give Tank that first zero? Say that again? Why are you that guy to give Tank that first L? Man, you should already know. We've been going there since 2014. I, I just want to be the guy. I don't feel like, um, I feel like if anybody else do it, it's not going to be satisfaction to the fans. I feel like I have to be the one to do it. Back then, he was telling you to get a belt. Now you got a belt. You just defended it on yeah, your, your fourth told, defense. <laughs> he told me to get a belt back in 2017. He said get a belt. I got a belt. And then Floyd said, "Oh well, we ain't worried about Tevin Farmer. Um, he a five figure fighter. Now I'm, I'm making seven figures, and it, it's still excuses. I got a belt. I, I defended it four times. I probably defended it more than him. What you yeah. think? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, I think I did. I think I, I think I think I did. You know. And um, they keep saying." And you know, fans are biased too. They say, um, Tevin Farmer not fighting nobody. But then, if you fight once a year and you fight in top dogs, they're going to say you're inactive. Then you fight more than, um, you fight three times or four times a year, but you fight in well but step up to the plate, then they say you're trade picking. So, um, you defended it four times in nine months. Yeah. Uh, four defenses in nine months and a four for five world titles in less than a year. And nobody's going to like me. I don't care who it is. And by the way, I want to give I want to give Eddie some credit because when we made this deal, one thing Eddie promised Tevin 
and myself was that it was activity. He said, you know, we're gonna keep you active and you will fight regularly and four times in nine months, you know, he's delivered on what he promised. So thank well, you for that. Lou, do you wanna get him in there one more time before the year is over? Oh, absolutely. He's going to get in there one more time before the year is over. And, and, and we want it. We want, look, the fans deserve a big fight. He deserves a big fight. The zone, at this point, after doing his last four fights, deserves a big fight. And we want to yeah. give him one. Jojo Diaz is fighting on the zone. Um, let's get it done. Let's do that fight. I, I, mean, I think if it wasn't for the mandatory tonight, he would have had that big fight yeah. at this stage. Yeah, we had no choice but to do this fight tonight. And by the way, the dude we fought was competent. I mean, he's not, you know, it wasn't the most exciting fight on earth, but the guy knew what he was doing. There's a reason he had 46 wins. Jevin, uh, stylistically, you're a tough fighter. You're defensively sound. You're not easy to hit. Yeah. But today, we saw you get touched a little bit. What do you need to do to improve on See, this that's what I'm talking about. You <laughs> say, when I first came out in the first four, five, six rounds, I boxed my ass off, you know? If I'd have did that all 12, then you'd have asked me, do you think um, you need to go in the, on the inside a little more? Now, when I go on the inside for a couple rounds and I get hit, it's boxing. We, we supposed to get hit. I don't know what boxes that don't get hit, you know? Um, are you probably count on one hand how many times I got hit or two hands, um, but I don't know. This is this sport is crazy. And yeah, I got hit, I suppose to, but I'm, I'm not lumped up, I'm not cut, I'm not bruised. And I haven't been bruised. I've probably never been bruised, I don't know. I've probably never been, I've, I've probably never been bruised, I promise. I, 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 I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard, these fans is crazy nowadays, man. That's why I always I always say, man, when you did and you going, the boxing fans gonna move on to the next per to the next person. So go in there, do what you do, um, get paid, leave out with your morals, and go home to your family. So if the boxing fans want to see a bloody war, go support the people that's going to give you a bloody war. And the people that want to see defensive fighters, come see me. That's how I feel. And he, we had Pernell Whitaker. He had rest in peace, Pernell Whitaker, on his shorts tonight. I thought there were moments in the fight. There was one point point where he was against the ropes, and that yeah. kid threw about seven, eight punches in a row, and not one of them hit. And I actually applauded at that moment. I was the only person in the area applauding. I think I was surrounded by Mexican fans. <laughs> um, and we know what the kind of style they prefer. But there was some brilliant defense in the fight. And there was some brilliant boxing. I mean, there were times I would have preferred. I said this to him. I would have, you know, and I, I, we, we talk honestly. Like, we're family. You know, I said, like, I think you could have put the foot on the gas more at times. But you know what? When you're doing everything and it's working, and you almost go into, like, cruise control like a car. And he was in cruise control. And he was dominating almost every round of the fight. And I'm not going to criticize a guy for winning almost every round of a fight. It's pretty hard, though. Like, fighters, if you don't understand how it is when you're in there fighting, that shit look easy as shit on the outside. But they, it's not that, it's not as easy to look. They say, oh, you could hit with that shot. It ain't that easy. Like, that should be hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's real right, way, though, right, right though? Good, like, I, and, and you got two excellent fighters over there, Regis and my boy Devin. Like, they, they tell you that should be hard. Like, they be like, it's like playing chess. I'm a hell of a chess player. And when I'm, on the outside, I'm like, damn, you can make that move. But... When I'm playing, somebody tell me that, I'm like, I don't see that shit. <laughs> uh, Chevy, yes. You, you won most of the rounds. The fifth round being the only exception, you lost out on all three cards. Was that just a round off because you, you seem to not use your legs as much and, and you kind of stood in there? Honestly, I don't even remember what the fifth round was. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I, I don't know how to, I gotta go watch the 